Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel which is called Mathematics, channel with really interesting and great challenges every day. So right here we have a great challenge, we have 4 plus 4 divided by 4 and in parentheses 1 plus 1. So on the first side this is the easiest challenge you've ever seen because this is not like a complicated expression, this is not like a hard expression with powers, with, with like sine, cosine, square root, so as you can see numerator, denominator, yeah. Right here we have like only regular expression, we have addition, we have division, so everyone handle this problem in the third grade everyone know the answer yeah and right here we have a lot of option a b c and d so right now i suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself what do you think is the correct answer what is the correct order to do this problem write your option down into the comment section and we will check our answer in the end of the video it will be really interesting to check to check our answer okay here's our question here is our option i hope you choose a correct answer so first of all i want to start with this solution so we have four plus 4, I just wanted to rewrite this question real quick, divided by 4, and in parentheses 1 plus 1. So for those who don't know about order of operation, this type of students solve it like that. They say, okay, from left to right real quick, I don't know about order of operation. Right here we have 4 plus 4, so from left side to right side, 4 plus 4 equal to 8, so we have 8. And try to write this expression, so 8 divided by 4 and 1 plus 1, yeah. And right now once more from left to right, 8 divided by 4 equal to 2. And with this parenthesis, 1 plus 1 equal to 2, so we have 2 times 2 equal to 4. Yeah, we have this option and uh, a lot of students goes wrong and they solve this question like that. Why this is absolutely incorrect solution? Because we don't care about uh, what is this operation. Right here we uh, start with addition, then division, which is a huge mistake. We forget about parentheses, so it's like a chaotic method, so a lot of students solve it like that and this is absolutely wrong solution. This is maybe the obvious solution for the most of you, because you, you prefer to start from, from left to right and you prefer to solve the problem as in an easy way, yeah, so from, from left to right, and you have this option, you choose option A, and you go to the next test. Okay, and right now I want you to understand that in math we cannot solve this question chaotically, jump from left to right, addition, then division, or parentheses, then addition, then division. So as you can see, a lot of combination right here, and obviously, whatever order of operation you select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, but of course uh, we need to find a mass order, yeah, we cannot like imagine this order in our head. We need to know what is the correct order of the operation. And let's look at this, for example, PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. You might hear about this order, uh, most calculator, graphing, scientific calculator works according to PMDMC order of operation. And let's solve this question according to PMDMC order of operation, okay? And we will check our answer with this four. Maybe we'll have the same answer, I don't know exactly, but let's do this. Okay, here is our question, so four plus 4 divided by 4 and in parentheses we have 1 plus 1, okay? Here's our question and let's look at this PMDMC. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and let's go. Right here we have first step parentheses, yeah? Parentheses, let's look at it. Where do we have this parentheses right here? Uh, yeah, we have parentheses right here on the right hand side, so we need to start from this parentheses. This is our first step, yeah, we have parentheses and we need to start from this parentheses. This is our first step to find this value of these parentheses, yeah? So we have 4, we have plus 4 divided by 4 and in parentheses we have 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So 1 plus 1 equal to 2, so we have times 2, okay? Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step, exponents. What about exponents right here? Maybe we'll have like uh, squares, fifth power, tenth power, seventh power. No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any exponents right here. So we just, we just skip this part. We don't have any exponents. We skip this part. Okay, let's go to the next step. Multiplication. And a lot of students do this common mistake. They say, okay, multiplication. Now we need to multiply four times two. In some cases, this is correct. For example, if you prefer like bot mass, maybe this is correct. But according to PMDMC, this is absolutely incorrect because we need to look in a perspective of a group, okay? And multiplication and division, this is one common group and we need to find where do we have this multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. So addition, we don't need it. Yeah, right here we have division sign, we need this expression. And right here we have multiplication sign, we need this expression as well. So our second step after this parenthesis, so this is our second step, is to solve this multiplication 
and division part. But uh, what we need to start with, we need to divide it first, then multiply, or multiply it first, then divide. A lot of uh, people all over the world have discussion about this, and I want to say that I solved it according to PMDMC, and if you solve it according to PMDMC, you need to know that you need to look in a perspective of um, what is the first sign from left to right, okay? The first sign from left to right is this division, yeah, so right here we have division, doesn't matter, you will have multiplication, now you need to multiply, right here we have division, you need to, you need to divide, okay? And as you can see right here, we have 4 plus, then 4 divided by 4 equal to 1, and we have times, times 2. And the last step, as you can see, uh, we need to multiply, because we didn't finish this uh, multiplication and division sign. We have 4 plus 1 times 2 equal to equal to 2, okay? And the last step, addition, we have this, this is our third step, we don't have any subtraction, so second, first step parentheses, then multiplication division from left to right, and the third step, this is addition, which is equal to, equal to 6. But right now, really interesting moment, because we don't have this option, we don't have this option 6 right here, and many students goes wrong, and they say, okay, I don't have this option 6, and I go back to this option 4, because, um, option A, because we have this option, option 6, we don't have it, we have like different options right here, but if you look closely to this option, we can easily see that we have like three factorial right here. And if you know a little bit about math, you need to know that three factorial, this is only a product from one to six, this is nothing nothing hard, we have only a product from one to one to three, sorry, yeah? So we have six, yeah? So three factorial, this is the same six, so as you can see right here, we can write our answer because we find our option. This is option, option C is a correct a correct answer. So according to PMDMC, correct answer is 6. I, pref I um, respect every order of operation, for example, you solve it according to BODMAS, maybe we'll have another answer, yeah? I solve it according to PMDMC, correct answer for me is uh, 6, yeah? And according to option, this is option C. So we hope you all learned something new from this video, I wish you all the best, and see you in the next videos!